Okay, um, so kiddo has a fever, um, so we're going to make something else really quick for him. Um, I should make some soup, but um, I'm a little bit, I don't know if I have a fever. I don't have a fever myself, but yes. So anyways, we're going to go ahead and do this. So what's great about having a garden outside is that uh, you can always use, these are uh, uh, garlic chives. Um, helped boost the immune system. Oh, I guess I could have been some sorrel. There's not enough sorrel up right now, though. But garlic chives are almost year-round, and even if you live in the cold, 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 you just have a little windowsill thing, uh, garden tower. Um, if you go to the Edible Urban Garden Oasis a thing, the site that I have, you can um, find a tower for that. But you just sprinkle it on, and it cooks pretty well. So you, you take a regular cheese pizza. Never ever eat a regular TV dinner unless you just really have just beyond feverish. Um, because it just it doesn't take much to add some greens from the garden. And even if you have an apartment, uh, join my Facebook page, Edible uh, Apartment Gardening. I know, here's a group. It's a group, I think, that I started. And you just... Sorry, I'm really tired, but um, the point is, it, no matter where you are, um, if you want, you can call me up and I will talk you through it and hold your hand of doing it when I'm not so tired. <laughs> and I will help you prove to you that you can do it. You, you can do this. And you just crumble up the meat really small your fingers, I guess, or a knife would probably be better. Okay. So, uh, I added some sweet potato and some carrots to it. The sweet potato is the stuff that was already cooked before, and the carrots are fresh. So this is going to be kind of a strange pizza, probably. The carrots will add a little bit of crunch. Normally, you would cook it, the carrots be pre-cooked. Basically, I'm trying to get some vitamin A in him because he does have that fever, and I'm going to add some ingredients that he's probably going to really hate, but hopefully he'll eat it. One is I'm adding a little bit of turmeric, um, just because normally I would add the turmeric cut up from a root, but I don't have that, so my mom a long time ago had bought me some powder, so I'm going to go ahead and add that in. And I'm adding it just very light. I don't know. I should probably taste this. Oh, yeah, that was really strong, so it may have messed this up. So, well, the pickles. Well, actually, you know what? I was going to add some pickles just to add some tang to it, but that turmeric is such a strong taste that it is probably going to add enough. Ah, I'm going to stick pickles on half of it. Okay. I know this seems like a really strange dinner. Um, the pickles he can pick off afterwards. He doesn't really like pickles, except for a certain kind. He does not like the dill pickles, but I'm hoping that cooking the dill pickles will make a difference. And, oh, I was going to get uh, another slice of... Um, I was going to find a cheese thing and just put a little few more pieces of cheese on top. Uh, the other day he found out that cheese and pickles taste actually okay and he'll eat that and he really had a craving for that. With this fever I don't know what's going to happen but I wanted the vitamin A so that's the reason why I put the turmeric. Um, yeah, this could just be a complete flop so I'll have to let you know afterwards maybe. Added some cheese. Just a thought about these little small pizzas. You know what really makes them wonderful is you can thoroughly mess up if you want, and you only have a small amount to eat if it really messes up. So I'm pretty sure he'll he can just pick off the pickles. Well, that might be a little bit harder now that I've put the cheese on it. Um, but I yeah I need to get that vitamin A. I really believe in vitamin A. Vitamin C to prevent a cold. Vitamin A after you've gotten sick. Um, all right. Top on, we'll see what happens. Okay, he asked me to check on dinner. Um, how is it? It looks melted. Carrots, of course, are probably crunchy still. Mm -hmm. yeah. I suppose it's probably warm enough for him to need to cut it up and for him. Refer to a cutting board because he can't cut on that thing. 
picture. I love pizza cutters. Do you see this pizza cutter? It's amazing. You just go and it cuts it up. Okay. Keep your fingers crossed that he likes it. I could create a little plate for him. It's not as pretty as his plates, but hopefully he likes it. I'll get back to you. Okay. And since I got up to get him some more tea, I just wanted to know, let you know it was actually quite a success. Um, it turned out really yummy. Um, the pickles, he didn't like that particular kind of pickle, but he says that another time it might be okay, just not right now while he's sick. But he didn't taste the turmeric at all. And, um, but you know, I think it actually said it was quite delicious, and I think actually the pickle juice got in there, and it added that little bit of zing to it, and I really loved the little touch of warm pickles. Really added a nice occasional zing that it was just really made it, and it, also it was a nice puffy cheesy the dough was really puffy, which is really nice, whatever it was. Uh, I think it was an Amy's pizza, I'm not sure. Um, but the carrots, he said, were a little bit not cooked well enough. He would have liked that better, well cooked. But the the sweet potato, actually, it uh, for some reason, it brought out... I just, I just put a sprinkle of sweet potato that was already cooked, and it added a little bit of sweetness. So every now and then you get this bite of sweet, and every now and then you get this bite of tart from the occasional pickle, and couldn't taste the turmeric at all, which is good because that means I can add more of it next time. The garlic greens, of course, is always wonderful. Uh, if you have actual garlic cloves, that's even better. But anyways, it was a hit, so I think you should definitely try out that crazy recipe that we just tried out. Just throwing everything together, trying to cook something quick and fast because we were both kind of out of it. And even that just little quarter slice that I had, it gave me a boost of energy. Uh, maybe my immune system was fighting what he's having, so that's probably what it was. Mm, um, I'm going to go make some more tea for him. Big hug, help him send up some loving energy that helps him get better. And please, whatever you do, can you please help us, support us on the Patreon page. We'll have the link below. We really need your help and support. I'm really freaking out about next month. I'm trying to put together these businesses online, but it's taking time. There are business expenses that I do not even have the money to do. So if you can help us get us started, help us get the business expenses so that we can create those online businesses and so that we can keep creating really wonderful things because that's what we would really like to do. We, you know, we brainstormed all the things that we could do to make an income of what we would like to do to help the world around us and also support ourselves and what we would really like to do is to create videos, to create... Eagle has been a designer all his life and we really would like to be able to design and create and build things and create things for the world and gardens and edible gardens and help people grow things in their own backyard so they can produce really yummy things like this. Having access to some food items from their backyard or just please help out. Patreon page, you know how to do. Thank you very much, even if it's just a dollar a month, to let us know that you support us and that you want to encourage us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mmm, big hug. All right, feeling better. Bye-bye. And remember, if you want to make one yourself, some garlic chives or garlic if you have it, some kind of dill pickle sliced up really small, a couple carrots, sweet, yam, sweet potato yam if you have it, turmeric, spread it around for your fever, and also the garlic is for the fever too, and the vitamin A from the carrots, and... Mm, squish, 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 squish. Another big hug. Thank you. We appreciate you. We are so glad you exist. Thank you for existing and sharing life with us. You are not alone because we are with you when you are watching this. Thank you. Bye-bye.